I went undefeated on day one of NBA 2K25. And it's all thanks to this build right here. This new all-around point guard build gets a 93 driving dunk and 80 vertical, which means you get gold posterizer and unlock all the best contact dunk animations in the entire game. Gets a 94 three-point rating, which means you get every single shooting badge on gold and can green from three consistently. Gets a 93 ball handling and 91 speed with ball. So you unlock all the best your moves in the entire game as well as Hall of Fame lightning launch. And on top of all that, we found a way to get a 91 steal and 85 perimeter defense. So you get gold glove, gold interceptor, and every other defensive badge on silver. And that's not including 10 whole cap breakers and the max plus one badge, which we're going to put on Hall of Fame lightning launch to get legend lightning launch. Yeah, NBA 2K25 is going to be fun for us. What's up, Simply Squad? It's your boy undefeated grinding and yes the rumors are true i did go 3-0 my first day of nba 2k25 now unfortunately even though i did stream eight hours i didn't have more time to play park to get a bigger sample size but in those three games i knocked down 10 three-pointers shooting 60 percent from three figured out all of my favorite gym moves to combo up and speed boost effectively and most importantly won every single game now don't get me wrong the build is insane but a lot of the credit for my success has to go to my jump shot. I genuinely think I found one of the best jump shots in the entire game on day one. So if you want this super easy to time, high arching, ridiculously quick jump shot, I need y'all to drop a like and drop a sub with notifications on. Because if this video gets 2,000 likes, I will drop that video tonight. And if you want to see me dominate on this build live, I am literally live on Twitch right now going for a 50 game win streak in the brand new Flyers court. So make sure to go follow my Twitch. The the link is in the description now without further ado let's get into this build all right y'all now for the build you can go right or left-handed it doesn't matter i like to go right but i will say fades feel better to your dominant hand this year not your off ball hand so whatever hand this you pick make sure you're comfortable fading to that side the build is going to be a point guard your height is going to be six foot three your weight is going to be minimum weight which is 170 pounds and we're going to keep our wingspan at a six foot seven so we can have a max of a 94 three trust me that's going to matter later the first thing we're gonna do on this build is upgrade our driving dunk to a 93 overall rating which of course is gonna give us gold posterizer and hall of fame area wizard when we're done with the build and if you're gonna go 93 driving dunk on a small guard build you're also gonna go 80 vertical so you can unlock both small contact dunk packages there's no reason going all that driving dunk and not unlocking every animation that you possibly can plus the dunk meter feels amazing this year y'all gonna have so much fun with this build i can't wait for y'all to try it but for y'all to try it we gotta finish this so the next thing we're gonna do is make our three-point shot a 92 overall rating now if you watch my community day video about this build i went all the way to a 94 but that was before we learned that to get your first five cap breakers all you have to do is hit starter three to put that in perspective a no life like me is probably gonna hit starter three in about three days and i'd say a casual player that plays maybe a couple hours a day maybe skips a day or two you'll probably hit starter three in about a week or two so when you do your first two cap breakers are gonna make this a 94 overall three point for gold the most range and gold mini marksman and let's say you have a really busy life and you don't hit starter three for a whole month you are still going to be sparking threes with a 92 three in the gameplay i showed y'all i had an 89 three point rating and i shot 70 percent from three my first three part games of nba 2k25 with a jump shot i randomly put on and found out was the greatest by the way so if y'all want to know that jump shot again drop a like drop a sub with notifications on i'm dropping it soon the next thing we're going to upgrade is our ball handling to a 92 overall our first two cap breakers are going to go to our three-point shot to make it a 94 our third cap breaker is going to go to ball handle to make it a 93 now you can choose to put three cap breakers on this to get 95 ball handle and unlock every drip move in the game but i'm not gonna lie to you from what i've seen steve francis is not worth it or at least isn't worth it yet so i would hold off on that and just upgrade this to a 93 once you get your cap breaker and again even if you don't upgrade your cap breakers for a while you will still unlock pretty much every drip move in the game except for literally two animation as well as have gold playmaking badges so you can dribble for a long time and then you'll unlock gold ankle breaker once you get your cap breaker your speed with ball is going to be a 91 overall speed with ball which of course is going to give you hall of fame lightning launch and the reason getting this badge is huge you do not want to mess with your speed with ball at all if you're going to make any changes to this build do not make any changes to speed with ball and the reason for that is because having hall of fame lightning launch is huge because we're going to use our max plus one badge once we get it to hall of fame on this badge 
badge to get legend lightning launch basically a badge that only like six foot guards should be able to get and we're gonna get it on a six foot three guard that has mad finishing and mad defense and then after that to finish off the playmaking we're gonna go a 77 pass accuracy in our community in our community day video we had an 85 pass accuracy for bailout we ended up going 77 because i wanted to get defense on this build and i think when y'all see the full build you're gonna completely agree that it was the right decision so let's talk about the main selling point here the main change we made the defense we are gonna go a massive 91 overall steal for of course the staple gold glove before we talk about gold glove gold interceptor is so overpowered right now passing lanes are the best they've been in 2k in years ask anybody how they played on day one they weren't getting plucked they were getting the ball ripped out of the air when they tried to make a pass bro it is insane gold interceptor is absolutely insane and to partner it we're also going to go in 85 perimeter defense because i don't know if y'all have seen the clips but you can shoot over those this year at a high efficiency a lot of people when they were upgrading 85 didn't upgrade their perimeter defense myself included and we got absolutely punished for it even if you jump and the player gets knocked down it will still stay open because your perimeter defense isn't upgraded yet so yeah we're definitely going 85 perimeter defense now the only cap breakers i'm gonna mention in these build videos are the first five you get those are gonna be the ones i base the builds off of because they're easily attainable and majority of the 2k community is gonna hit starter three eventually so you're gonna get those five cap breakers now these next 10 cap breakers i'm gonna talk about you have to be a rep grinder to get them i think you get them at veteran two and legend one so that's a whole year type of grind it's gonna be at least a month or two for the hawks the people that grind all day and all night i know most of y'all aren't that and for the people that sweat the game but don't have time to grind it all day and all night it's probably still gonna take you three to six months to get 10 cap breakers but i do want to mention that once you do get those 10 cap breakers you will actually have hall of fame glove on this build and hall of fame interceptor just something i want to point out just something i want to point out to the rep hawks out there if you're out there if you're watching this video this build at full potential is absolutely insane but it doesn't need to be full potential to still be insane and then finally to finish off the stats of the build we have something a little controversial that we're gonna have to make a decision on but we're gonna go 80 agility and 86 speed and then we'll finish off the build by upgrading our free throw to a 72 just in case you want to play rec so you can knock down some free throws now the reason i went 86 speed and 80 agility even though agility is technically better than speed this year first of all if y'all don't know speed determines your speed on fast breaks when you're closing out when you're going for lane steals all it affects is how fast you run without the ball agility affects your lateral quickness and then the first two seconds of your sprint so when you sprint the first two seconds are based off your agility and then after that it's your speed completely and then speed with ball the most important attribute determines how fast you speed boost the reason i went 86 speed and 80 agility is just because of my play style i run the break a lot on these small guards all right i always play with center to have high pass accuracy and i want to be able to run the break as fast as possible and it works out that that's my play style because if you try to lower your speed it lowers your speed with ball and what did i say before you cannot lower your speed with ball lower than a 91 we want legend lightning launch on this build so if you're gonna want to upgrade your agility even more than this even though you're hitting insane caps on these attributes you're gonna have to sacrifice one of these insane caps me personally 80 is more than enough especially when we hit these attributes so let me recap the build real quick now that we can see all the badges we have a 93 driving dunk which gives us gold posterizer and hall of familiar wizard as well as an 80 vertical which means we get all the contact dunks in the game that this build can get so both pro contact dunks and both small contact dunks off one which is basically elite contact dunks for small builds we get a 92 three-point rating which with our two cap breakers that we're going to get very quickly we're going to have all gold shooting badges including gold the most range and gold mini marksman which by the way if y'all don't know shooting is ridiculously easy this year if you find the right jump shot all right i saw a lot of guards struggling to shoot and i was shooting 70 percent in my first three games my first three shots i green two deep threes and a fading midi with a 45 midi because i didn't upgrade it yet so yeah shooting with the right jump shot extremely easy also there's literally no contest in this game you can just shoot whatever you want unless they have a high perimeter defense just keep that in mind for the first week a lot of people don't upgrade their perimeter defense myself included at 85 overall i don't upgrade my perimeter defense so people can shoot right over me and i can shoot right over people we have a 92 ball handle get you all the best your moves in the game i did lab up some of the best moves in the game i'm very confident about like three or four of them i want another day of streaming eight hours so i could figure out the rest of them and then i'll give you all my drip moves so again drop a sub with notifications on if you want to see that 91 speed with ball we're going to get legend lightning launch once we get this hall of fame then we're going to use our max plus one that we get in our season pass to make it legend and then finally 85 perimeter defense all silver defensive badges you do not want to use your cap breakers on this all you're going to get is gold pick dodger and then our steel obviously we have a 91 steel which with five cap breakers if you do hit vet two 
for my grinders out there that are gonna play the rank system and all that you get a 96 deal which is hall of fame glove and hall of fame interceptor so this is the full build and the build name that you're gonna get with this build is a two-way inside out iso creator not my favorite name my favorite name i got on a build so far is actually on my popper build i got an insane build name on that build i can't wait to show y'all i showed it on twitter if y'all want to see a sneak peek of it you can go check out my twitter but one thing i want to show y'all is how much vc it costs to upgrade to 85 and how many attributes you can get when you upgrade to 85 because i ain't gonna lie to you it is kind of hard all right y'all so to upgrade to 85 you do have to make some sacrifices but the good news is once you get your first build to 99 overall and then you rebirth you'll be able to upgrade to 99 overall off rip for every single one of your builds for the entire year so the first thing we had to sacrifice was you can't go a 92 three off rip you have to go in 89 at least to get the most attributes possible then we're gonna max out our playmaking which is good we're gonna get a 92 ball handle and a 91 speed with ball dribbling is extremely hard this year so the least you can do is give yourself every option possible we actually did get to max out our driving dunk and get our 80 vertical so we get our contact dunks which again is very good bull I actually had to hop on my 85 overall build just to make sure my memory sucks but I eventually decided to go 70 agility 80 speed and then start off with a 64 pass accuracy now you can see that I have an 86 the first I'm gonna upgrade is my pass accuracy and once you get one overall you can literally max out your pass accuracy to a 77 but anyways y'all that is pretty much it let me show you a really quick live jump shot hold on look at the drill moves oh yeah i told you i've been cooking i told you i got drill moves that i like bro yo drop a like on the video if you want these drill moves i got you bro there's just two or three i'm still trying to figure out and then i'm gonna drop it instantly once i figure it all out so y'all can be saucing on day one but hold on watch this let me show you something let me show you something look at the jump shot look at the jump shot ronnie look at the form y'all see how quick that is y'all see how high arcing that is i don't miss i don't miss i could do this all day we could be here all night. Look, that's green. It's still messing me up. Look, four in a row. Hold on, this is live. Can I do five? Oh, all right. We messed up at five. Whatever. That's on me. That's bad timing. But you see, we made up for it. But anyways, y'all, that's pretty much it. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all. And as always, keep grinding. Falling. Falling. Who can we never be falling? Retro she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be taunting. Falling. Falling. Who can we never be falling? Retro she never be calling. Still hitting shots while they steady be